Welcome to my Fundamentals on Photography series. Today we're talking aperture. Now all aperture is, is an adjustable hole that lets a certain amount of light into the camera that then performs the correct exposure. So, why have I got a really old camera and why have I got a modern camera? Well, obviously we're all going to be using these, uh, or variations of these, but this allows me to show you just how an aperture actually works. Now, before I get into that, let's just explain what aperture is. As I said, it's an adjustable hole, and it's a hole that you adjust using your camera body, normally, or an aperture ring that then clicks around to either open the hole up or close the hole down. So that varies the amount of light that is being let into the camera. So let me just explain on here. This has an aperture without stepped increments. So if I just show you how that, I'll just open that up, and I'll show you how that actually just slides around and you can see the leaves of the aperture opening and closing. Okay, now this one goes from f4, which is wide open, to f128, which is really small and closed. Okay, now those numbers are quite significant, but you don't have to know them off by heart because all cameras have exactly the same numbers. Some have more numbers, some have less, but all the numbers correlate to a bit of complicated maths that, which I won't go into. So let's go to the modern camera, so we'll leave that one to the side for the minute. Now this is the Nikon D800, and we've got a couple of different types of lenses here. This is the more modern lens, and as you can see, there's no aperture ring. All right, so, because the aperture is still in there, but the camera controls it electronically. I'll just use, this is a, a trusted lens of mine, this is an 85mm 1.8. And this has got a nice big front element and it will show me the aperture. Now you see here, this one actually has an aperture ring. Okay, So we have numbers on here, and this is quite a good lens. So this starts at f1.8. Okay, Now the 1.8 just denotes that this aperture is right, wide open. So the smaller the number, the wide open the lens. The larger the number, the more closed down the lens. So I'll just click through those so you can see them. So you've got, that's 1.8. Now your lens may be 2.8, it may be 3.5, it may even be 4.5 or 4, something like that. It doesn't really matter what that number is. The smallest number on that ring, on the aperture ring, or what appears on your camera, will be the widest open aperture. So then we can step down, and, we, and it goes in increments, and they're set increments, so every lens will roughly be the same, show the same sort of numbers. This one goes from 1.8 to 2.8 to 4 to 5.6 to 8 to 11 to 16. If it was a different type of lens, it would then go on to f22, f32, f64. Like this one, it, goes to, it can go down to f 128. So that's just the stepping of the aperture and you'll find on uh, these older Nikon lenses specifically with the aperture ring that there'll be a little tab. Now that tab there will lock the aperture ring in place. We'll just flick that on and you can't then move the aperture. That's because that the camera actually controls the aperture same with Canon, same with Olympus, same with all of those other cameras. And the so the camera controls the aperture, so you don't want the aperture ring being knocked. If you find, let me just show you on my camera, if you're a Nikon user specifically, if you find, I'll just take that off, that the aperture gets knocked off, what you'll see is an FEE so an error symbol will flash. So if you turn your camera on and the error symbol is flashing on an older on a Nikon camera with an older lens with a, a aperture ring, then that's that the reason will be because you've knocked the aperture ring. 
So you just slip it back to the aperture that is in uh, the orangey burnt amber colour. Now that can be, it's usually the lowest aperture, so it's usually f22 or f16 or f32, something like that. And then you flick it to that and you'll find that the aperture is then back into control of the camera. Okay, so let me just put this lens on to show you that you don't need an aperture ring to for it to work. So this camera is set on to manual and we'll go up and as you can see this one is set the maximum aperture on this lens is f3.5. As we come down you'll see the increments that the camera can produce for the lens are a lot more than what the actual aperture ring produces because that's stepped and they can't get just in as many steps in. Now, why are, they, why are those numbers significant? Well, a wide open aperture will let more light into the camera. If we just choose this one again, you can see, if I do it this way this time, that if we have it wide open, there's a lot of light coming through there, and as you start to close down, the light gets less and less and less. And if we look through it this way, we get a lot of light, and then less and less and less. So, if you have a really bright day, you'll be wanting to take the aperture down, so therefore the number gets bigger, and you want to be working around f8, f11, um, maybe even f16, something like that, on a bright day. If the day is quite dark, or you're photographing inside, somewhere where there's not that much ambient light, you will be wanting to open the aperture up to f5, f4.5, f4, f3.5, f3 something like that, or in this case f1.8 you can open up to. So that's just a very quick look at aperture. In the next video I'll be looking at shutter speed, and then the following video we'll be looking at ISO, and then we're going to put them all together and work out how best to use all three in the exposure triangle to get a well exposed image. So this really was just a very basic look and to get you familiar with that setting. Okay. So if you like this video please click like. If you want to find out when my next video is coming up and I remember that's on shutter speed then you want to just hit that subscribe button and if you want to leave a comment or a question feel free to do so in the box down below. Thanks very much for watching.